Hi guys, so um, today I am going to do a tutorial for the look that I had in my Always On My Mind um, lip sync video. So, if you want to learn how to do that look, um, please keep watching, and if you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. So, stay tuned. Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a look, or the look, from my Always On My Mind lip sync video. Um, if you want to see how I did that look, please keep watching, and if you haven't seen the video, please watch that. So, stay tuned if you want to see the look. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is prime my eyelid with um, my NYC Custom Compact in Central Park. Okay, after I've done that, I'm going to take this matte mauve palette from e.l.f. and I am going to take this let me see medium this tan color right here and I'm going to put that all over my lid okay now that I've done that as you can see I just put it on my lid and I blend it into the crease now that I've done that I'm going to take this same flat brush I'm sorry I didn't show this earlier um, and I am going to take this medium dark pink, oh, can't see it, right here, and blend that throughout my crease. Alright, now that I've done that, I'm going to take, um, just a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to go into this dark mauve color, and I'm going to just dip my brush in there a little bit, so I have just a little bit of the color on, and I'm going to stick it right in the crease of my eye and do a circular motion just so you get a little bit of darkness and blend that very lightly up upwards and deep. Alright, now that I've done that, uh, my camera's not picking up the color very well, but it's, oh, that's a little bit better. I do need to get a better camera. Anyway, so as you can see, I have the dark mauve color here, and I just extended it about halfway. And I did go back in with that same big fluffy brush after um, wiping it off a little bit and took the brown just to blend it out here and took the dark, the medium pink and blended it out here because I had brought it just a little bit too far. Um, the last thing I'm going to do with shadow, oops, throwing my brushes everywhere. The last thing I'm going to do with shadow is just take this um, medium paddle size this medium sized paddle like brush that I took earlier and go into this lightest pink right here and I'm going to place that in my tear duct okay now that I have that light pink in my tear duct the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wet n wild color icon pencil in white and I'm going to line my waterline alright next you can tight line if you want to but I'm not going to I am going to take this e.l.f. liquid liner in plum let me see if I can get that of course it's not going to show you anyway it's just a very dark purple as you can see it's quite similar to the mauve whoops it's very similar to the mauve color just a little bit darker or maybe a little bit they're about the same shade of darkness it just it's a little bit richer and it has sparkles in it now I'm going to do my best to not screw this up I probably will, and I'll probably end up with liquid liner all over my face, and this toy is going to be hellbound after that. Anyways, after you have your um, berry liquid liner on, or plum liquid liner on, um, you are basically done. Well, the mascara. <laughs> I'm going to go do this. I'm freaking out about it. Alright, so I managed not to mess it up too bad. I made the wing... I think a little high, kind of, I think it makes my eye slant weird, the way it's positioned. Anyways, I, I hope you get the gist of it, it's like my third time ever using liquid liner. So, I'm just going to take a check in the mirror, make sure everything's good. The last thing I'm going to do is put on mascara, and I'm going to use my LA Colors Waterproof Mascara. Aren't you surprised that's not the... Last glass plugs. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, so after you have mascara on, this is the finished look. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll be sure to have more coming up soon. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I actually forgot part of the look, <laughs> of course. For, on my lips, I have this New York Color lipstick, and it is in Blossom. So, I am going to put that on real quick. It's a very gorgeous, shiny pink color. It actually smells really nice. I'm gonna grab my mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. Well, I didn't do too bad. Okay, now that I have that on, the look is almost finished. The final thing I did is, I don't think I have the exact gloss. I don't have the exact gloss that I used with me, but this is a very similar gloss, and this is um, Sally Hansen Natural Butter Lip, Sh <laughs> Lip Shine in Bloom. So it bloom and blossom, very matchy, and this is just a very shimmery pink color. Now, this one, actually this is the one that I used in the video, but I was planning to use my e.l.f. color, which is a super shimmer lip balm. And the color is fairy. And I had tried this look with that lip balm. And it came out extremely nicely. Because it has... It's not very opaque. But it has a very nice pearl to it. Oh my god, I'm getting this all over. It's so hard to do this and talk at the same time. You can probably tell that I have this all over my face. Anyways. So, there are the lips. Oh, the lipstick, it's not super sticky, but by itself, this lip butter is really sticky. So, I use NYC... 316B Blossom, and it's just this, and I'll show you again. I'm not going to roll it up because it got really warm and it broke, and now it's rubbing against the tube. That's why there's stuff all over in the cap. Anyway, it's this really pretty shimmery pink, and I put Sally Hansen Blossom over it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I actually made this part in real time. Ooh, I didn't cut out. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about the stuff. It's dropping everywhere. Oh, bye. bye.